Yeah, hi guys. Uh, hope you're doing good. So I'm back again with uh, part four of NEET MDS uh, 2025 recall. Uh, main motto is to provide you the exact reference where a particular concept or a question was discussed either directly or in the application uh, aspect of a particular concept or a topic. Okay, right. So, uh, so let's dive into the questions without wasting any time. If there are any corrections or modifications required in the mode of question or in the options, please do let me know because that is going to help uh, the upcoming students to lead with uh, le less controversy regarding the options and the answers. Okay, so that's going to make the preparation smooth. I always discuss this regarding to you, right? You see lots of controversy questions in the repeats, right? The reason is overlapping options okay so regularly uh, we try to keep a comfortable option as a mentors like we try to keep a comfortable option which is there in the uh, textbook directly okay so it's a peak time okay so five days are done so i want you to respond quickly raise your hand and do let us know the exact format of the questions or the options anything to be changed so that's going to help me as well as my students and my team uh, to take their preparation to the next level okay right so let's start so question number one, during the delivery of an all ceramic, uh, all ceramic crown, the dental assistant accidentally got exposed to hydrofluoric acid, which of the following is an antidote. I don't know the exact uh, format of question, but probably this may be, okay, no one is going to intentionally take hydro, hydrofluoric acid. It's, it cannot be accidental. It is intentional. Okay, no one is going to drink hydrofluoric acid until unless they're ready to do a suicide. Okay, this is basically accidentally exposure to hydrofluoric acid means getting in touch with skin or hand okay right so that's what like if you read dental phillips or if you read uh, uh, if you read mds conquer website properly so this is a known thing that hydrofluoric acid will come in contact with the skin and we have discussed about this so this is basically i, I hope like most of the mds conquer students have not missed this because this is simply given in dm 2025 subject specific exam yeah people may miss the topic specific q bank but i hope none of you has missed the subject specific Okay, so here I have asked the mechanism uh, straight away from the textbook. What is the primary purpose of applying this calcium gluconate gel to the skin exposed to hydrofluoric acid is a question that is given to you. Okay, right. So the answer is, yeah, insoluble uh, calcium fluoride is going to form, which prevents the calcium extraction from the tissues. Okay, that is answer is B and it is well explained, nicely explained straight away question from your in the exam. The answer is D for this particular question that most of you are aware of this. The next question, there is a concept they are asking related finishing and polishing. Okay, you have a decent number of questions on finishing and polishing. Particularly, let it be a 15-20 minutes video which is covered by uh, Akshay sir uh, in his classes. There were lots of questions from that particular video. Again, a 15-20 to 20 minutes video impression materials which I have taken a quick recap which I will be discussing that in the next part. You have so many questions. Okay, 15 minutes video is giving you so many, so many questions and clearly uh, during the last checklist of last 10 days to be done, I have I have given you a checklist to be done. Yeah, this this is what's included in the checklist. Okay, right. So concept of glaze that most of us are aware. This question may sound a little bit new, but it is more of an illogical. Like I, I strongly believe, like once I'm seeing lots of questions on the lab related stuff of Prosta and DM, uh, the team has decided to do uh, a lab oriented video, taking how the sprue angles and everything properly maybe lab oriented video will be uploaded very very soon on your website that's what we are planning for lab oriented stuff most of us are going to ignore and the questions are coming from those areas okay so we thought of taking uh, taking a chance to uh, record all those things and 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 provide you as a video okay right here a, a 25 year old underwent a ceramic uh, crown and uh, how do you finish in polishing you know that glaze we are going to play after finishing and polishing okay you can you apply glaze before that what is going to happen you you're going to remove in the process of contouring finishing and polishing the words clearly says apply over glaze or a natural glaze after you finish contouring finishing and polishing the sequence sequence is very very nice okay right the answer is seen of course website is having a decent number of questions and discussions related to uh again Again, that's what I'm telling. Like, uh, this is basically, you know, you know, you read this, you understand this, you can you can easily apply this comments and get out the answers. Again, this is from Dental Material 2025, subject specific exam. Okay, then uh, going to the I like uh, ions, ions are the materials which are a component of your dental base metal. The most important uh 
complication that is associated with or, or the disadvantage that is associated with the uh, dental base metal alloys is they are health hazardous. Okay, that is one important thing. And particularly the most important thing that we have to make a note is hypersensitivity. That's what we have discussed. And nickel, we have discussed so many times, nickel is the one which is going to cause hypersensitivity reactions. Okay. And of course, if you check out AAPG, this is not something fresh. Okay. AAPC 2015 question. So they have given clear gallium, they have not mentioned, but beryllium they have mentioned. And the answer for that particular question in AAPC 2015, okay, is health hazardous. What is that health hazardous basically? Of course, it includes hypersensitivity, but you need to check out the most adverse effect. Okay. Of course, you, if you check out the GT19, uh, you have a question. Okay. So role of beryllium in the nickel uh, base metal alloys, you have a question. In that explanation part, they have clearly given, okay, is a carcinogen. Of course, it is going to cause hypersensitivity. So this is what the line I was talking about. Health hazardous was AAPG 2015 question. Again, a similar format. What health hazard is it basically? Of course, it causes hypersensitivity, most of the base metal alloys. The most important thing rather than the hypersensitivity, according to me, the best option according to Phillips is I'll go with option C compared to the other option. Of course, hypersens carcinogenic means it going to cause hydrotoxicity. Carcinogenic means it, it has a quality of hypersensitivity. Most of the options are right, but exact if you check out the exact terminology that is being used in the dental Phillips. I'll strongly uh, ask you to go for option C, right? So then coming to the next question, again, again, you have a question on finishing and polish, right? And uh, I see, I see uh, most of the students uh, in the telegram group telling this is a new concept. When I were uh, discussing regarding this, uh, people are telling this is a new concept, the fill the form, but it's not a new thing. Okay. It was discussed a number of times. So many times it's being discussed. It's, it is discussed in the quick revision. It's discussed in the pro live sessions. It's discussed in the offline. And of course it is present in your smart videos by Dr. Akshay that finishing and polishing 15 minutes video. Okay. So during the uh, restorative procedure, the clinician is going to maintain the rotary instruments through terminologies called as truing and dressing. Okay. And what is basically dressing? Dressing is going to dressing. What? Why we dress? Why we dress? Right? Why we dress? Is before dressing, what we do? We uh, remove everything. Okay. We remove everything. We dress it fitly, and we go going to maintain the shape and everything. Okay. So that's what I have given clearly given example, and I have discussed nicely in the video. So that is what the question is directly from the Dental Phillips textbook I have discussed in the pro life, and the question came from that area. Guys, you are lucky enough. Okay. So I'm jumping into the next question. Specific heat of a dental material is most clinically relevant to which of the following uh, procedures a little bit overlapping and healing can be also right it also requires a specific heat casting requires a specific heat uh, rather than the other two options sounds to be a little bit dummy okay so it can be a or b but if you exactly check out dental phillips specific heat or specific temperature terminologies so these are more inclined to according to Phillips they are inclined to burnout burnout procedure requires exact wax elimination requires exact temperatures okay and wax elimination uh, is basically inclined to casting or in fact the casting also uh, your materials are going to have a casting range of temperatures which the range of temperature is going to produce a specific heat for the material to get casted. So keeping that in mind, I strongly believe option A is better when compared to that of the other options. Of course, the steps in casting procedure were nicely uh, discussed by Dr. Akshay in his smart video. So this is what basically we are planning to convert into a uh, practical video, like how we are going to do, what we are going to do, how the steps are going to be, why we are going to do the steps and everything. We are probably going to release the video in the next couple of days. Then coming to the next question, a clinical application based question that most of us are familiar regarding this. It's not a completely a new new concept, but that's what I'm telling. Okay, revising these things in the last couple of days, uh, immediately hitting the right answer is more important in exams like uh, need because you have 40, 45 seconds for each question. You cannot apply everything. So there, there should be a set of questions immediately. You need to kick them out and where uh, you, you have bouncers where you can you can spend a good quality of time in coming out with the right answer. Okay. So the clinician noticed that the addition silicon impression metal is failing to set properly. Upon investigation, it was discovered that the assistant uses latex gloves during the handling. 
and what is the most likely explanation of this setting failure is a question okay right and most of us are aware that latex gloves should not be used uh, when you are mixing addition silicone because latex gloves is going to contain sulfur that most of us are familiar there's a gt uh, straight away gt question and of course if you check out akshay sir's uh, video okay so akshay sir's video the failure of elastomeric impression materials again this is a must do topic i told you must do topic i told you in the last days i told you to check out this uh, check out these tables okay uh, of both gypsum as well as this impression materials so if you check out the uneven surface rough surface clearly mentioned for addition silicon the surfaces agents such as latex that contaminates the material and inhibits the process of polymerization that what that's what the question is basically okay you have one question related to the sulfate very nicely uh, made the option sir sounds to be very very easy you can blindly go with option b which was given in your gt and of course which was discussed very well in your impression materials by dr akshay so i'm going to the next question uh, aims repeat uh, which of the following again list list i have given the list to be done in the last 10 days i told you to check out highest lowest surface energies and everything i told you to clearly discuss about ortho related dm question because you have two ortho related dm questions which of the following is having least modulus of elasticity is a question again straight away from the website okay so nothing to think so this is that's what i'm telling this question was repeated n number of times in aims and it was there in aims repeats okay right so the answer is b answer is d okay right i'm moving ahead then comes a clinical application based question operator again most of you are familiar options are very very easy class 2 registration done on maxillary first premolar where you are going to use the different types of edging technique uh, that is your uh, yeah you you are having some mesial overhanging okay that main mesial overhanging is the mesial convexity that is basically due to the mesial uh, mesial marginal developmental group okay again again the question is from your gt mesial marginal developmental group is present in maxillary first premolar okay right clear i think a very simple question that most of you went for right answer clinically how you differentiate between a white spot lesion and hypoplastic lesion nice question right a very valid nice question if you check out my class my class related to uh, the boot camp series that's what i'm telling like boot camp series specifically stressing most of these things are done in gts and boot camps of course you have a strong video based content along with properly actively made uh, worksheets and notes that is an extra benefit definitely extra benefit but i'm talking about the people who read in the last 6 months or last 3 months it's going to be very difficult for cover covering each and every corner of the mcq books whatever you have sparsh gupta neeraj badwan heavy heavy books you have it's not going to be possible like you are reading for the last 3 months yes it is being covered in the boot camp series pedo uh, class by me it's clearly mentioned the difference between the and i will hypoplasia as well as white spot lesion clearly written in the video okay uh, disappears on wetting straight away the question is hypoplastic lesion is not affected by hydration or drying whereas white spot lesion disappears on wetting how well it is okay like you see no uh, these questions may can be answered by any student i'm not i'm not telling that these questions are so difficult but what i'm telling is whenever you see something which is being exactly discussed by your mentor scripted by your mentor you see such a questions in the examination hall you see you feel so comfortable that's what uh, these examinations really required particularly student who are preparing for 3 to 6 months or students who are giving this exam for the first time like for example interns doing it for the first time you will feel so comfortable in the examination hall. of course repeaters who are repeating for gdc for 2 to 3 years yeah the game plan is going to be slightly different but i'm talking about the freshers i'm talking about the people who has a limited round of reading limited stuff of reading you see such a questions in the examination hall strongly believe that you are going to feeling so comfortable in the examination so i'm done with this set of questions so coming i'll be coming back very very soon with uh, the part uh, the next part of the video with one ten more questions uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, the very frequently asked question is yeah uh, mds conquer is plan mds conquer is providing you as of now it's providing you two online courses uh, one is plan a second one is plan pro the major difference between the plan a and plan pro is plan pro is going to have extra live classes okay we are privileged and i'm very very happy that we are providing live classes okay so you will be having 100 to 120 live classes throughout the year and each live class is will be 2 hours and the live class timings are regularly 6 o'clock in the evening to 8 o'clock in the evening again 
sometimes you can miss the live class if you miss the live class the live class is also available as a recorded version for unlimited watch you can watch it unlimited times you can watch it in the revision time right so this is this is what the two plans we provide okay contents are common for both the plans okay except the live classes and the recorded version of live classes how many live classes 100 to 120 overall live classes we are planning we have planned and what we do in this live classes is integrated discussion okay uh, co conceptual discussion will be done clinical scenario based discussion will be done latest questions concepts will be solved in this exclusive live classes compared to the plan a of course plan a and plan pro both of them are going to have 1200 plus updated videos and uh, uh, smart videos again i'm telling it's an unlimited watch unlimited watch and this year for 2026 batch which is not there for 2025 you are providing worksheets means worksheet is nothing but notes of all these 1200 videos not complete notes it is like 75 to 80 percentage of notes is provided wherever the questions were repeated wherever the concepts were repeated we gave fill in the blanks that you have to fill while you are watching the videos this is uh, just a mode of converting your active preparation preparation always should be active during your mcq part and of course every day we have an activity on the whatsapp which is done only one institute in the country which is doing this activity from past 10 years proud to say i i am the one who has started this whatsapp activity first time in india in dentistry okay when the whatsapp was invented in the very early days okay and uh, without any break or without anything granted anything granted without taking that privilege we are doing the whatsapp activity from past 10 years without failing at any point okay and of course you can you can you can check out with the students who are being a part like even a day before exam of neat mds 2025 we have a little bit of whatsapp activity and so many two two questions came from uh, the last uh, one to two days discussion but straight away questions straight away options you see like students will feel happy uh, coming back and all the work whatever we have done the commitment of the work or the hard work along with the students till the last minute till the last day till the last minute before they enter into the examination hall waiting for you outside the examination centers in the hot summer to wish you to give you the positive vibes this what makes uh, a mentor happy at the end okay that's what i strongly believe like uh, i see students were asking like sir you're done with 10 years spending most of your life with us and don't don't you feel bored of this yes yes of course i feel bored uh, i feel bored i feel frustrated i'm a human i'm going to have some emotions with me okay i feel bored i feel frustrated but uh, at the end right on the day of exam after the exam okay you you get that uh, uh, on the day of result you get that little little bit of uh, appreciation and gratitude from the student uh, which is give you the uh, pleasure of uh, the outcome of whatever work uh, the productive work we have done from from a very very long duration of time a decade was done 10 years were done okay very happy that uh, I, I mean uh, i i'll show my utmost gratitude to all the students who has chosen mds okay yeah uh, we'll be we'll be coming very very soon with the next part and hope this videos are useful to you and hope these videos are increasing the integrity uh, of your reading purpose okay so bye chalo take care see you very very soon